Welcome back to one of my channels again. Today is one of those little misters that you see at the store. It's kind of got a wood looking shape. A little bit of missing would come out and you'd have your uh, A in here. But anyway, it kind of turns on at one hour, three hour. You can kind of see there's like little um, LED lights in here. See there? So there's semi works, but when you put water in, nothing happens. So let's, uh, let's take the screws out and we'll uh, unplug it and take a little further look in. And you get in here and say, oh, there's a fan here. And now maybe we can check the fan while it's plugged in for a, just a brief second here. So I don't see that fan coming on at all. Make sure it's loose. Nothing happens there either, so that's not a good sign either. So let's take a little more further look in and let's start checking things, ohming things out, checking capacitors, checking your wiring, and uh, get in here and take a look and see what's going on. So we know that the fan didn't come on, but we know we're getting power here, which is here, and then the LEDs were coming on. And then we know that our little LED lights were working, so that circuitry is kind of talking to this thing, but it's not sending information back to turn the fan on to cause that to blow the misting out. So, one possibility, the fan don't work anymore, we'll find out. In most cases of this one, you may want to just buy a new one, but I like to kinker around and see what was really the problem. See, there were three screws. So let's take a look inside here. This here is a heat shank. And I think this is just a little positive some diaphragm or something here. This is a resistor. You got some capacitor, capacitors here and here and here. You can test them. So a reliable meter. So here, this is one red one. We go from here to here, and it's reading a little bit. It says doing microfarad here a little bit. It did say 44 microfarads a minute ago. There, it's not really talking. Blue one didn't want to do anything. Go to the resistor mode. This one kind of should be about a one ohm. Let's try that again. Yeah, 1.2 ohms on that one. It was a little bit sticky when I took it off, and now look at this. This is your indication here. Of we've got issues. We've got. Um, a corrosion going on here bad contact here on that corrosion I don't know what I haven't even cleaned it up yet got some corrosion acid shiz going on on here not a good sign I'm a little worried about this little guy here cuz I don't know if it's eating away or just crap looks like another little resistor there it's corrosion here doesn't look too good. You got a good view on this. Get a little closer and see all this crap. So what we can do is get a little bit of electrical cleaner and clean this up and see what's going on. Um, I may have, I don't know. If you have a corrosion going on in here, then it's going to cause problems and not things turn on. All these little microprocessors, all these little, you know, these can be um, like, let's see right here. So C4, yeah, that's a capacitor there. See, R14, R14, R20, and R21. And all these are little resistors. And then these are your LED lights. And then your little processor chips that kind of do all the thinking. 
Gotta have all the brain working in here. So here you have all these little things going on and little resistors. And it's funny that there's so much going on here. And uh, I, I guess we can see we can check resistance on this bad boy right here. It's, yeah, it's too tiny. I would have to get. Oh, maybe we can get some indication here. I don't know yet. You get like a little safety pin. That's showing something. A little bit. I didn't get much on that, so we'll, we'll see. It looks sealed. I did put water in here and it didn't um, drain. But slight possibility that maybe it leaked right there a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. There's That doesn't look the same birds all the way around. But I think it, it could have leaked on the outside. And then there's like a little crack here. Possibility it leaked there while it was it was mounted and got it wet. Anyway, so I'll uh, do a part two video on this and see after I clean this all up and see if anything behaves again. If not, then this thing's doomed because of the water damage causing it to corrode and react to the circuit board here. So, alright, well, thanks for watching. Talk to you then.